Hello, hello, hello. My name is Crystal Smith and I am a local realtor in the Somerville, Charleston area. And I help home buyers and sellers find the homes of their dreams. So today's live is about home listings and why they expire. So usually when you list a home, you list it with a listing agent usually list it for about six to 12 months, depending on the contract. And if you come to the end of it and it's not sold, you're left with, you know, your home and where you're at. So a lot of home sellers get frustrated with that and just kind of wonder, you know, like now what, what do I do? I mean, what happened? So there are three things that could have happened during the listing. And I'm just going to list them out here briefly. Um, and then we'll just kind of go into each one. So the first one is that the property was overpriced. Um, the price didn't match the market. It was overpriced for what else is out there. So while you may love your home and while you may think it's worth $500,000 and uh, you haven't upgraded it since, you know, the 70s, uh, buyers that come onto the market don't think that. And that's kind of where the gap is created. That's kind of where the properties are overpriced. And um, it's where home owners get kind of frustrated. They're like, I raised my kids here. It's in a good school district. It's, it's an amazing home. And while you may think that someone, you know, first time home buyer or somebody who just took out a huge loan to buy this house, they don't want to deal with your, you know, old fridge or you know, dated kitchen, dated bathroom. They want the best. So um, just, just kind of meeting in the middle. And that's kind of why you hire a professional, a realtor, so they can kind of meet in that middle and try to find what's best for everyone. You, while you want to move out, somebody does want a home to move into at a reasonable price. So I think when you're working with a realtor, just make sure you're working with somebody who can make it make sense and is kind of empathetic to what you're going through as well. Um, the second point is poor marketing. Um, there are a lot of ways to market a property. There's a lot of ways to reach potential buyers and the buyer's agents, um, whether you use them or not is a different question. You know, a lot of people just kind of list it on one site and just kind of, you know, hope for the best, post it on Facebook, hope for the best. And it's kind of, it's a science. Uh, anything that has to do with marketing and promoting is a science. So just making sure that when you're going through that listing consultation, ask them, well, how, how are you going to market my property? How are you going to make sure I get the best buyers? You know, what, what do you think? And you want to make sure you have an agent that's not scared of you, not to tell you, uh, not to tell you what you want to hear. And that does go back to being overpriced. I mean, just kind of agents being scared to tell their clients, well, this is overpriced. You know, it's going to sit, it's going to have a lot of price adjustments and you don't want to get to that point. And then in terms of marketing, you know, multiple websites and MLSs, that's kind of, it, it, it's, um, I don't know how to say it. it's what everyone can do. Uh, you want an agent that kind of goes above and beyond that. Um, there are a lot of ways to do that. Uh, so when you're interviewing agents, just kind of look out for that as well. Um, it's, it's nothing bad, but you know, if they're one of their top performing agents in their area, a hundred percent, they probably have a black book of, you know, buyers representative, they can reach out to and just say, Hey, I got a listing. It's perfect. It'll work for your family. They probably can get it sold very quickly. So, you know, marketing is also your, your connects. So, you know, if they don't use the latest technology, make sure they have a good database of buyers, agents, they can connect to, to get your home sold. <clears throat> And the last one is limited flexibility. This can be on the agent side, and this also can be on the buyer side. Um, when working with a property, you want to make sure that you can get it as HGTV market ready as you can. And that means a deep clean, decluttering, 
removing personal items. Um, it is a very stressful time for home sellers to do that and remove those items. And, and that's totally okay. But you have to remember when somebody walks in to a home on HGTV, they don't see your dog toys out. They don't see shoes everywhere. They don't see, you know, an unclean kitchen, you know? So in terms of the seller side being flexible enough to put things in storage, to have the house professionally cleaned, you know, the side of the house professionally clean and things like that. And in terms of the agents, making sure they are flexible enough to show the home to, you know, the buyer's agent to answer their questions, to answer their phone calls, to do open houses and things like that. So when your home expires, it, it could be a couple of things. Um, and those are the top three things I really think affect it. Um, I'll probably do more of a deep dive on my YouTube channel just because I don't want to be on here too long. And I know you guys got stuff to do. So uh, if you're interested in a listing consultation by me, I do them in person or in Zoom. You can send me a message here on Facebook or you can uh, send me a message to uh, my email listed in the description here. And I will sign off. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks.